What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, how to win at this game we call life. Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and it helps support the channel. Also, guys, I really do appreciate 10K subscribers, guys. We're on the road to 15K. We got it every single day, and we ain't stopping you, dig? Comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I got you, man. Y'all been showing me so much love, and I really do appreciate that. Now, before we start this video, guys, like I always state, take everything that I say with a grain of salt, you feel me? My perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing, and if you're not growing, what are you doing? Also, guys, I love hearing the stories, the messages. You guys are such a big inspiration to me, man. Honestly, when I read the comments, you guys motivate me every single day, inspire me to keep going every single day, and I'm hoping I'm doing the same thing for you guys. And if you guys have something more personal to tell me, let me know on Instagram. I do respond. I might be a couple days late, but I do respond. You feel me? And if you guys do not agree with what I'm saying, please, please let me know in the comment section. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. This is an open mind. This is We got an open-minded channel. You feel me? Now check me out, y'all. I was having this discussion, you know what I'm saying, the uh, the other day with my mom. And I'm probably gonna forget some things. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna forget for, forget some stuff. But we were just talking about the, the game of life. You feel me? Because we all know that this is a game of life. You know what I'm saying? We, this is, we all know this is a game. You feel me? It's levels to it. It's different levels to, to, to this life. You feel me? And shout out to one of the guys. I did watch one of these videos and he, he stated, he said, when you want to go into sea, when you want to go, when you want to go into the water, you want to go, you know what I'm saying, explore the water, you have to put on a certain suit. You feel me? And when you want to go into space, you feel me? You got to put on the astronaut suit. You got to put on, you got to put on the suit to be able to, you know what I'm saying, be able to breathe, to be able to cope with the, the atmosphere. And they also said, when you get on earth, you're also given a suit to be able to experience the things that are going on within this planet right and guys you got to realize that we are all spirits we are all spirits we all have spirits right and then we're just taking a human form but the body that we're given you feel me this is the the game of life that we are given you feel me this is the game we come down here we take the contract and we come down here to experience earth as it is to experience this planet right we get the five senses we get the sense of touch the sense of smell, you feel me? The, the, the eyes, I'm, I'm over here forgetting, you know what I'm saying, the senses. We get, uh, you get the touch, smell, taste, sl and, and you, you get to see, you feel me? And you get to hear. I don't know how I almost forgot all my senses, but this is what I'm telling you guys, I might forget some stuff. You feel me? I and mean, that's the easiest thing that you can remember. But guys, as we was talking about this, as I was talking about this to my mom, you feel me? And I was explaining it to her. I said, there's always going to be good things and there's going to be negative things. There's going to be positive experiences and there's going to be negative experiences. And I told her and I said, think about it. Like, even when somebody's always arguing at you, you having a bad experience, you know what I'm saying? You get into a fight, you get into this. You guys got to realize that our body, this body that we have, this suit that we have, is to experience it, but not our, not our spirit. Sometimes you got to be able to detach your spirit from what your body, this, 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 the, the, what the body, you know what I'm saying? Because the spirit controls this body, controls this organism, this, this little robot that we're in. And, and, and it gives us the experience to experience this life. You know what I'm saying? Our, our spirit is just, it's, it's continuously games. And once you, once you experience certain things, right? And you, and you learn to just, you know what I'm saying? Let go, let your spirit detach from it. I'm not telling you guys not to experience, you know what I'm saying, the the, the, the finer things, right? Because there's gonna be positive moments, right? We're gonna have positive moments like love, like like sex, like certain things like that, that, that what the human body experiences. You feel me? Because the soul can, right? The spirit can can, can can literally have sex by not actually like, you know what I'm saying? Can, you know, by, by actually having the physical touches, by having the, 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 the five senses, of taste, of smelling, of hearing what the person says or, or or feeling what the person is saying or doing, right? But you still experience it. You feel me? You detach the spirit, you detach the spirit from it, but you also experience it from the body, from the body form. 
right? Whenever you get so much money, whenever you get like the riches, because obviously as you continue to grow, you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you get the abundance. You get the, you get the lustful and all the things that come with it, right? You get the money. You don't just be like, oh, I, oh well, it's, that's, it is what it is. I got the money. No, you enjoy it. You, you go and enjoy the, the, the memories that you make with the, with the body that you have, the experience, with how to win the, the game of life, right? You feel me? Because we don't take, we don't take the negativity with us. We don't take the ne negativity and, and, the, and, and, and the high up moments with us when we die. You know what I'm saying? We, we, it's the spirit. We just come down here with the body and the memory that we have and, and we use that. You feel me? So you can't, you can't always look at, you know what I'm saying? I, I was telling this to my mom. I don't, don't want to forget too much of what I was saying, but you know how people love to hold grudges. People love to hold grudges when they die until they, until they go into the grave and that spirit is still holding on to it. And then you come, you come back. You know what I'm saying? You come back and, and because you didn't know how to, you know, let go of the pain, disconnect yourself from the pain, but let the body experience what the pain was, you have to come back. You have to reincarnate and come back to this planet and experience the same thing over and over until you learn that lesson. You feel me? When you, when you, when you gain so much money, when you gain so much, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, materialistic things, and you attach your you 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 attach your spirit to the materialistic things that your body can you know feel and see and and hear and taste. That's when you have to reincarnate and come back. It's okay to feel it. It's it's okay to experience it because this is what we come down here for. We come down here for the experience. We come down here to feel the things. But you have to learn how to detach your spirit from it. You know what I'm saying? After a while. You know, so many people get caught up in and in, 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 in only chasing the money. This is what I'm telling you. Money rules every money rules a lot of people's lives right now. And if you want to call it the devil, you know what I'm saying, has your soul, right? When the devil has your soul, you come back to hell on earth, right? Because you're you're so caught up in chasing after that money, chasing after that materialistic thing, chasing after that fame, chasing after that, you know what I'm saying, attention from every single person. You have to reincarnate and your spirit is so connected to it that it has to continue to come back to this realm. You feel me? The more that you experience, the more that you learn, the more that you master, right? Because there's going to be more times that you have to come back and that you master and you master and you master more things. You feel me? You master, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the lustful things. You, you master the, 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 the things that hurt you, the negative outcomes. Right, and then you move on to that different dimension. You move on to that until you are able to connect yourself and have fun with it by the three, but and, and, and you know what I'm saying, the three-dimensional form. But learn how to disconnect your spirit from it. You will not be able to win at life. You got to learn how to, you know what I'm saying, experience that hate, experience that 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 argument that you had, and take it for what it is, and learn how to disconnect for it from it. This is how you win at life. This is how you move on to the next level. This is how you learn to grow, right? You don't hold grudges. I know it's easier said than done, but guys. You guys gotta, <laughs> when you start to think about it, when you start to practice it, when you start to like get into it, it's not that hard. Like I tell you guys, it's easier said than done. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's easier said than done. Nobody's told, nobody told you it's gonna be hard to you know what I'm saying? Come across the truths and, and realize how to win because everything is a level. It's, a, it's levels to it, guys. It's levels, right? You learn a, 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 from being from being a, in poverty, right? You learn that you got to stop hanging around certain people. And when you learn to just put your emotions and your love and your, you know what I'm saying, and, and the hate aside, you can move on to that next level. Now you in the middle class. Well, it used to be middle class. Now you in a, in a different neighborhood and you, in a, you know what I'm saying, you moving on up. You feel me? Then you get to these people, you meet these other people, and you and you, you know what I'm saying? You 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 love these people, you start to meet new people, you know what I'm saying? And then you and then you learn that these people are still holding you back. You, these people are holding you back, and you you experienced it, right? You experienced the middle class life now. Now you experienced it. Now it's time for you to just disconnect from your spirit, but the body experience, you know what I'm saying? And now it's time for your consciousness to, to upgrade. Now you, now you in the higher class. Now you over here experience the finer things. You on the yachts. You on the bigger houses. You on the, you know what I'm saying? More abundance opportunities. But you can't get caught up because once you get caught up in it, once you start to attach your soul to it, it's so easy for it to come back down. 
it's so easy for it to just be taken away because now you're just learning, you're yearning for it. Now you're just constantly, if I don't have this, I'm no longer happy. I'm no longer, it's just the experience that we have. This is how you win out of the game of life. And also vice versa for the negative things, the, the negative outcomes. I just have to use that analogy, guys, because it's always levels. No one just starts off from having the, the uh, amount of money. You know what I'm saying? When you come from, when you're in poverty, you have to work your way up. You have to let go of certain people. When you're in a relationship, guys, let me put it in this situation because some people, this is how some people, you know what I'm saying, can can cope with what I'm saying. When you're in a relationship and you were with somebody for, for years and years and they constantly, you know what I'm saying, put their hands on you. Let's say, let's say, let's say from childhood. Let's just let's start it off from childhood, right? Your parents probably whooped you, they abused you, you probably something physically, mentally abused you. Right, and then you you always had that grudge, you always had that hate, and you could never you you always realize why you had attachment issues, or you always you know what I'm saying couldn't uh, uh, um, you know what I'm saying love somebody properly because you never get you you never got that love, and then you realize like man okay I gotta forgive my parents I gotta forgive them I can't let my spirit be connected with it constantly and I'm holding this grudge over what they did to me mentally and physically no. So you let it go and you let it, you know what I'm saying? You 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 step back from it. And you just forgive them for what it is and you forgive yourself. You feel me? You forgive yourself for, for just you. You feel me? And then you and then you realize into that next relationship, you get into it and you like, okay, I can actually open up a little bit more. I can actually, because I love myself, you know what I'm saying? I was able to forgive them. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to it. And now you're able to actually open up to somebody. You don't have attachment issues. And then it probably do, you probably still do. But then you, as the, as the as the levels go up, as you, you know what I'm saying, you get older, you get that first girlfriend, you get that first, you know what I'm saying, then you get into that first marriage. Sometimes it, it, people figure it out early on, right? But you get into that first, you get into that first relationship, you get that first, you know what I'm saying, that first crush, that first love, right? This is why they say you got three lovers. You know what I'm saying, you got three soulmates. You get that first, first soulmate, and they teach you, you know what I'm saying? It's just that that baby love, that puppy love. And then you get into that second one. It's like, dang, it's the one that really break you. It's the one that really hurts you. It make you, you know what I'm saying, realize what it is that you're capable of. It realize, it makes you realize what you bring to the table and that you should really love yourself for who you are and that you don't need to change from nobody. You know what I'm saying? If it's if it's positive, it's positive. If it's negative, yeah, you're working on yourself. You're doing a shadow work. And then it's that third love that come across, that you come across, and it's that one that you've been waiting for for the rest of your life. This is how the game of life works. You know what I'm saying? You don't attach the the the, the what, what happened to you physically. You don't attach all the physicality, you know what I'm saying, to, to your mind, to your mental, to your spirit, to what the spirit is telling you to do. And now you're able to move on and move up to the next level. You started right here with the physical abuse, mental abuse from friends and, and mom and dad. Then you went here, you know what I'm saying, from not able to even have a relationship with anybody. Then you moved up after you forgave and then now you're able to have a relationship, but you still, you know what I'm saying, you still kind of, you know, shaky. You still kind of shaking. It kind of hurt you a little bit more, but now you're kind of realizing what your worth is and, and that you still offer more. And then you move up here until you find that first, until you find that person and, and you move it up to the levels. Your spirit wasn't connected by all the pain and the suffering that you went through and all the good things that happened too, because sometimes you have good moments too. You still have good moments. You're not gonna, it's not, it's not always bad. It's a balance between things. It's a balance between life, right? And then you realize, this is how I win. I forgive, I don't let my spirit attach to the physical form, what I can see, what I can hear, what I can taste, what I can touch. You feel me? And then you learn to grow and then you learn to just move on and then you happier in your life. You start to, you start to gain more. You start to gain more abundance. You start to gain more love for yourself. You experience the stuff, but you just don't attach your spirit to it. You don't attach your soul to it. And then you're, and then you move on and you grow. I hope y'all rock with me on this video, man. I hope y'all rock with me. I hope y'all was kind of grasping what I was saying. Hopefully I put it in a, in a manner to where I could actually make my point and it was actually a good, you know what I'm saying, conversation. I told you guys I was gonna possibly forget certain things, but I got what I needed to say off. I got it off. You feel me? I love y'all, man. Take care of your mind, your body, your soul. Go outside, get some sun, get some nature. Like I always state, man, meditate. 
If y'all can, plant y'all's foods. If y'all can't, so be it. Just make sure y'all eating home cooked meals. Y'all eating right. You're not out here just eating this fast food, McDonald's, all that bull. You feel me? That processed food. You feel me? Y'all been smashing that like button, and I really do appreciate that, man. Once again, let's try to get 130 likes on this video, man. 130. Y'all been killing it. I really do appreciate 10K subscribers, guys. We're gonna roll to 15K. We grind it every single day, and we ain't stopping, you dig? I got the pranks, I got the vlogs, I got what you need. All you need to do is subscribe to me. I'm out of here, man. Peace.